Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to this wonderful channel, News Info TV, where we bring you nothing but the truth. I greet you, all of us of freedom all over the world. Uh, it has happened again. You know, um, if I talk about uh, Nigerian politics, some people will start criticizing. And that's why they don't like uh, Mazen Nandikam MNK, because he always says the truth. He always talks about the things that are happening in this nation. And everything that is happening in this nation today, MAK as a prophet has already prophesied that these things are going to happen. Uh, information reaching us is that three Nigerian soldiers killed, ten of them injured, armed personal, personal career destroyed in ISWAP ambush in Bono State. Uh, the members of I I swap has ambushed uh, Nigerian soldiers, and about three of them were killed, and ten of them were injured. You could imagine such a loss, and what uh, Nigerian soldiers are facing. And I know that some of these things are as a result of saboteur, uh, because politicians in Nigeria has decided to be using terrorism as a business. Uh, they go into a uh, compromise with kidnappers, with terrorists, you know, and that way, you know, you see them compromising that uh, these people will kidnap the members of your nation and you will end up, you know, negotiating with them, paying them to release them. And they continue to be carrying out their acts. And that is what is going on in this nation. And when you talk, uh, nobody wants to listen. And if you talk more, they will say that now you are talking too much. Uh, let them bring you so that so that they will destroy you. Now on this side, uh, IPOB demands immediate release of Namdekano Oba tuba tuberculosis outbreak in DSS dissension facility in Abuja, uh, MNK, uh, where he is. I think uh, they brought in a tuberculosis patient, and of course you know that this is a biological weapon. You know, they have maybe tried so many ways to send MNK to judgment. Uh, but Chuko Kiabiyama, who is serving, has refused that something like that will not happen. And they know the consequences of what will happen if they send MNK to judgment. And now they want to do it through Kone Kone way. You know, Kone life. So that if something happened to him, they will say uh, it's not their fault. It's because he contacted tuberculosis. And because of that, he was sent to judgment. But Chuko Kabiyama will never allow that to happen. And that will never come to pass. And the IPOB members has demanded his immediate release, that he, he be released from that DSS detention so that he will be able to see his personal physician. Of course, you know that MNK is a big man. And he's a, he's a world-class man. So I don't know why they are they are bringing all these local uh, uh, physicians, all these local doctors, to be taking care of a man like him. You know, it's just because they have kept him under their custody and they feel that you know they can do anything to him. And um, but God will not allow that uh, to happen to MNK. Then on the other news, let's go to this one: Turkey evacuation plane shot at. In Sudan, <clears throat> of course, you know, like I usually tell you that some African people, uh, they are very, very greedy. And look at what is happening in Sudan now, uh, whereby uh, two people are fighting. And the uh, information written to us is that, you know, this, there are two giant countries supporting these people, making these people to kill themselves. Then I'm asking, why will, when will African man have sense? Two giant countries are supporting you. They divided you people into two. And they caused you to fight against yourself. You destroy your airport. You destroy your country. This is your country. And these giant countries that are supporting you are there on their own. They, don't want, they, they, they are looking at you. They are laughing at you. They supply you with guns, ammunition, supply you with, 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 um, with drugs. And you end up killing yourselves. Destroy your own country, clean your own children. And this is what Mahazin Nandekano has been kicking against, what is happening in Africa. And because these people saw what, he, what is in his mind, what he has planned to do, how he has planned you know, to change the Biafra, to bring a new Biafra. And they, 
He said that if Biafra comes, just give him one decade and everything will change. And that's true. Biafras are very talented. They are talented people. They are people with brains. They are people with mindset. Look at what they are doing in, in the movie industry, in the, in, the, in the, you know, all area. You know, both in, in medical line, both in engineering line and the rest of them. The Biafras are representing highly. And this is why these people don't want them to be free. Because the white man does not white, does not want the black man to be free. And they know the capacity of the Biafrans. That if Biafra happens to be free one day and become the country of their own, that, you know, it can only take like 10 years, Biafra will become like Dubai. And the white man does not want these things to happen. And that's why they are pushing. Look at... Mazina Nikano is a citizen of the, of, the, of the UK. What have they done since then to make sure that he is released from that uh, DSS uh, de detention? They have done nothing. They have done nothing to make sure that he is released from that detention. All they do is just uh, talk blah, 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 and talk all along talk without even doing anything. Let's go back to this news so that you can see what happened uh, between the uh, this uh, Ndimbu soja and also uh, the the SWAP, three Nigerian soldiers have been killed and others injured. So still on that news, three Nigerian soldiers have been killed and others injured by an improvised explosive device planted by militaries from the Islamic State backed faction of BH. The Islamic State West Africa province, ESWAP, formerly known as Jamal al Samut lead, they were out bonus state. Sarah reporters gathered that the ambush took place along Damasak's uh, Sans Sansan Highway. The incident, which occurred at about 8 a.m. on Monday, is one amongst the many traps the terrorists have used against the military. According to security forces, an armed personnel carrier, several weapons and ammunition were destroyed by the terrorists during the attack. A military signal exclusively obtained by Sahara reporters also confirmed the incident. The signal revealed that flames from the burnt APC also affected houses in Sansan village. According to military reports, the injured and dead soldiers has reportedly been evacuated by the Nigerian Army helicopter NAF-581 to Medugri for further expert management. The signal read, On Operation Desert Lake Sanity Special Situation Report, please be informed that the troops were conducting routine patrol along Damasak and Sansan and Leia villages to data suspected terrorists from attacking commuters. At about 0830 hours on April, while on hold at Sansan Village, the armored personnel carrier with chassis number 82-3039 stepped on IED, resulting in the total destruction of the equipment. Our own EOD team carefully condoned and searched the general area. It was confirmed that the terrorists used the pressure type of IED. Casualty records indicate that three soldiers were killed in action and ten soldiers were wounded. The APC was damaged and the GPMG gun mounted on the APC with range number 121975 was damaged. Six 47 rifles were damaged and seven AK-47 rifles belonging to the wounded Killed soldiers were also recovered. The total rifles, 13 AK-47 rifles and GPMG are in our own custody. While efforts are on to recover the burnt down APC. Following the incident, the fragments like flames from the burnt APC affected some touch houses in the village, but the fire was put off by the combined efforts of town troops and CJTF. The troop morale and fighting efficiency is satisfactory. Now you see 
what is happening in this nation. Because this thing, it, has, it, it looks as if it is now a normal thing. And of course, you know, say as this thing they happen, that people, children, they, they kill you, this thing no be animal. All these reports no be animal. The, the, my question is, I thought that these people used to have, uh, you know, a kind of sensitive uh, 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 material that can dictate whether there is IED or something like that. Because I'm not a soldier, but, you know, the world is becoming sophisticated. I, I think that the, the soldiers should invest more in some of these instruments because these terrorists are going ahead of them. And even there could even be Sabo among them who tells these people their way about. So I think the, the soldiers to do a proper work in order to fish out, you know, the bad ones among them. You know, to be able to be keeping themselves alive because doing the work of a soldier is not easy. And imagine you waiting for your husband that went to work. And at the end of it, you find out that your husband could not come back. And when you ask, they told you that your husband, you know, has been killed. Or something had happened to him. How will you feel? How will you feel? You will feel bad or that your wife, because there are some female soldiers or your mother or your father in the army. And all of a sudden like that, the person lost their lives, which is very bad. Let me draw the curtain here, my wonderful people. If this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go straight and hit the subscription button, the like button, the share button. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you could be the first one we'll collect. And thank you for listening to this wonderful channel. We love you for doing that.